my lunch break, and I decided to go to the food truck. Food truck's name is. Well, you probably ain't gonna be able to see it anyway. The food truck name is Street Life, and it's pretty good. I just got me some fries. I was gonna get some chicken tenders, but since I already have like chicken with me, like from like a little get together that we had in the office today, I just decided to add some fries with it so I can complete my lunch. Now I'm gonna walk back to my car. I like to have lunch in my car or whatever, or on a patio or something here in my job, but um. It's nice out here. It's just a little windy. So I'm just going to go to my car because it's more peaceful and I can be more to myself. So, yeah. That's my thing. But anyway, I will be uploading um, my facial regimen just a daily facial regimen I do twice a day but along with this facial regimen facial res, res, I can't even talk regimen I um I do a scrub once a week and um I'm gonna do that scrub also I'm gonna add that in this vlog too so you can see what I do with my face and what I've been doing with my face lately, it has actually been helping my skin. Cause my skin, I always had like bad skin problems. So now I'm getting the gist of taking care of my skin more frequently. I'm just gonna stick to this regimen because it's, it's just best for me or whatever. I'm gonna make sure I put all the content uh, in the description so you'll know what I've been using and you know so if you one of those people that have oily skin you can actually follow that regimen and also I'm going to be looking for a lot of comments too you know to let me know what you guys think about that if you guys decide to follow that regimen and then we're gonna go from there. But I'm just leaving the um the food truck. I'm going to my car now. My car is not far. But I just wanted to give y'all an update on what's been going on. It's a little windy, so you probably ain't gonna be able to hear me very well. So I'm gonna get back to y'all when I get in the car. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I had to get out of that, uh, I had to hurry up and get in my car because the thing is, it's very windy and I knew you guys wouldn't be able to see or hear me or understand what I was saying. You probably still didn't. But, um, I got me some chicken wings and some golden fresh french fries and a bottle of water. I think that's good enough for lunch. You know what I'm saying? So, as you know, a lot has been going on in the world. Um, a lot has been going on. Ooh, you hot. But, ooh, you hot. Ooh, you hot. We want to get through it. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys, so... You guys will get a better understanding what's coming up. I'm trying to get this channel up and going. But the thing is, I just want everybody to see what my channel is going to be about. I'm going to try my best to post a lot in my uh, community section. So you can see a lot of different things that I'm going to be um, contributing contributing to this channel versus the community. Um, my... Um, my son and I, uh, my oldest son and I, we're going to be starting our own channel also. We're going to be doing a lot of um, mukbangs and we're going to do a lot of um, different types of challenges like sour food versus um, 
sweet food and stuff like that. Just a um idea of what we're gonna be doing. Um, uh, test a lot of different candies. Uh, doing a lot of different learning strategies as far as like, you know, with him being in the fourth grade. I want to do a lot of different learning strategies so he can get familiar and be prepared for fifth grade. Um, this is our year. Also, my youngest son, he's he's um coming out with a channel too called Ryan Playhouse. So you make sure you and your kids or your children can subscribe to that channel also. That channel is basically going to be about... It's a children's learning channel, and it's a children's play channel. Um, basically, it's going to show Ryan doing a lot of different activities, learning in the process. I mean, he's only three, so while he's learning in the process, he want to learn with you guys. So make sure you subscribe. The links are going to be in the description, description below, but it's called Ryan's Playhouse, and... um. The other channel with me and my other son, we haven't really came with it up with an agreement on the name of that channel, so I'll keep you updated on that, but make sure you subscribe to this beauty channel because this beauty channel is going to be talking about a lot of different beauty strategies like hairstyles, quick hairstyles, and makeup and you're going to get familiar with a lot of different people other than myself um facials massage massages also a lot of a asmr um stuff to relax your mind i think asmr is part of beauty too because it relaxes your mind and it has a lot to do with the body and your senses so Stay tuned for that. Well, that's this channel. So make sure while I'm talking, you guys can subscribe to the channel and click that uh, reminder bell so you'll know when I upload videos and you always be aware of the videos that I upload. Bro, I'm going to make sure that you have the beauty, um, you have the facial regimen in this vlog right here. And also, I'm going to do, um, do the mask i'm gonna show you the mask that i do once a week now with the mask i make sure i um do my facial regimen and then do my mask that one for that one day but i don't do the mask every day so pay attention to that too um Again, make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And be on the lookout for my other two channels that are coming out. So, you'll get familiar with me and my family. And then we're going to go from there. We're going to make sure we have fun. And I want to make sure I give back to, to the community and be involved with a lot of stuff. So, I can make, make it so that... Me and my family is part of something. I just want to give back. Not to always receive. So. That's why I say make sure you com like, comment, and subscribe. And click the reminder bell so you'll know when I uh, upload something. Okay, y'all. This is my facial regimen that I do on a nightly basis. As you can see, I'm showing you the products that I use. On a nightly basis, I showed you the 50% alcohol, green alcohol that I uh, use. I use the Clean and Clear, um, the Clean and Clear gel uh, facial wash, and like three or four cotton balls. I also use the 100% cocoa butter for a moisturizer, and I'm gonna first use my 50% uh, green alcohol. I usually just use this alcohol to cleanse the dirt off of my, uh, well basically remove the dirt and oil out of my skin. A lot of people don't like to use that because of the fact they feel it dries up their skin. But for me, with me having oily skin, I just use that first so I can get deep down in my skin when it comes to cleansing my face.
and as you can see I get all in between the cracks and crannies of my uh, skin on my face to make sure I get all the dirt removed uh, from my skin the cotton ball be very very black uh, when it comes to this so that's why I like to use it I make sure I get up under my uh, my chin my neck because that's part of cleaning your face I, um, sometimes I do it uh, twice just to make sure that I get all the dirt out because like I said when I wash my face I like to get deep inside my skin when me having large pores it's easy for me to break out if I uh, don't clean my skin appropriately I just follow this same procedure I do it once or twice depending on the actual cotton ball see that cotton ball is not that that bad now that I finished cleaning my face with the 50% um, the green alcohol now I got this clean and clear bursting um, uh, gel wash gel and I go all over my skin. I clean it like I clean my body. Just wash all over. I use my fingers, my hands, and wash all over my face. Like I said, this is a regimen that I do every day, twice a day. In the summertime, I like to do it three times because it's so hot. And when it be, with it being so hot, we develop so much oil in our skin. And like I said, my skin is very sensitive. So sometimes in the summertime, I wash my face three times a day. Uh, add a little water if I need to. And, you know, bring a good lather. Make sure I do it like for a good, I do it for a, like a good two, three minutes to make sure my skin is clean, clean and feels clean and clear appropriately. Make sure I get up under my chin and under my eyes and everything. Um, get as close to my hairline as possible you know because sometimes you can break out it uh, close to your hairline clean it real good and um, another thing what I do I use cool water to wash my face because sometimes with with hot water is okay but I like the cool water to because of the fact it makes my skin feel good when I uh, put lukewarm or cool water to my skin and it kind of helps freeze up the pores too and after that I rinse my face off sometimes with me having uh, extension lashes on I just use a, a a lukewarm rag and you know continually wiping my face off with lukewarm water because I don't want my extensions to be removed that's just me a lot of people like to rinse their face it's okay to do that but me I do a, a, a wipe down with my face and get all the products off and to be honest with you that's what they do when you uh, get facials like when you go to a, a spa to get facials that's how they they do your facials they wipe your face off get all up under my neck and I just continue on doing that uh, to remove all the product off my skin so make sure it's uh, removed appropriately I can say for real for real my skin has came a very 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 long way I usually had I used to have real bad acne and with that being said I just like to follow this regimen because it helped my skin a whole lot in the last past couple years as you can see my face um, what to me I don't of course you're not gonna see but my face feels so clean and clear and to the point my pores feel feel so free um, like I said you get close to your hairline as as close as possible to clean all the product off your skin of course get inside your ears around and on the outskirts of your ears to make sure your ears is clean I'm sure you guys know how to wash your face but with this being with that being said a lot of people do use different regimens this is a perfect regimen for me 
Again, now I'm using my cotton ball and I'm going to get my mint green, my um 50% alcohol to clean inside my skin again to make sure my pores is completely clear. Go all around like I like a extringent. A lot of people use witch hazel uh for extringent. I like to use alcohol at least once a day, but when I uh wake up in the morning since I wash my face uh, at night before I go to bed I wake up in the morning and I use witch hazel as my extringent but for right now it's nighttime and I'm using the 50% alcohol to clean my skin so after washing your face it's good to use an extringent like witch hazel or rose water or something like that but since at, since it's nighttime I'm using the 50% alcohol to make sure I get all the dirt out of my skin completely as you can see, that's a clean and clear um, swab. Make sure y'all push, it, click that thumbs up on this video. Now I am um, using the apple cider vin vinegar. I use that as an extranger too. That's good for people that has large pores. Um, with that being said, I use that like I use the alcohol. I put a little bit on a cotton swab and. I wipe, wipe it all around my face. That helps minimize your large pores, make your pores go down, uh, shrink, you know, so no dirt or oil get inside your um, your pores to create uh, pimples or bumps or blackheads. I go all around my uh, face, all around my skin, in between my eyes, in the creases of my nose, up under my nose, on my chin, my whole entire face. I even go up under my neck. Just let that sit and dry until it's completely dry. And then when it's dry, you get ready to put your... 100% uh, cocoa butter on as your moisturizer. The cocoa butter I use that to uh, make sure no dark spots come on my my skin when it comes to getting rid of get, getting rid of blemishes. I use the 100% um, cocoa butter, and it's like raw cocoa butter. Now at this point, I I wanted to use another lukewarm. Uh, washcloth to wipe around my face after using the apple cider vinegar just pat it so um you can make sure your your skin is clear and um ready to get that moisturizer on there that cocoa butter moisturizer on there i use the 100 percent cocoa butter stick and it works so perfectly for me because it cleared up a lot of spots on my face while I was going through my acne period. Make sure my eyelashes on point because like I said, I ain't want to do too much to make sure my eyelashes come out and stuff. Like I said, they are extensions. I I'm not afraid to say that I do have eyelash, ex eyelash extensions. Now, here's on my 100% uh, cocoa butter. I'll put it um, over my entire face. Just rub it in with the stick. All in the cracks and crannies of the skin to make sure the moisturizer gets on evenly all over my skin even around my eyes because you know uh, cocoa butter helps with skin pigment um, when your skin changes and stuff like this so I put it around my eyes too so I won't be getting no dark spots around my eyes or up under my eyes and after that I just rub it in my skin real good Rub it into its entirety, and we in business all over my skin. And I promise you guys, my skin feels so lovely. 
here go the finished product make sure you click that thumbs up on this video if you like that regimen and I will make sure I put all the information in the description below so you'll know what I use when it comes to my facial regimen you guys I know this is a whole new day and a different vlog well I'm gonna put it all in one vlog um, with some of my other days I got going on but I am here I'm gonna do a, a, a what kind of mukbang I'm, it's a mukbang I got taco salad I got taco salad I love the shell of a taco salad but it's from Taco Bell. I usually don't eat Taco Bell that much, but they taco salad is starting to be on hit. So, um, my mukbang today is going to be <clears throat> how to advance yourself in your business. Uh, you know, how can you be very productive in your business, you know, get new clients and you know make sure you keep up with your bookkeeping and stuff like that um for starters just make sure it's a, a good reputable business um before actually starting make sure i know everything is a trial and error but nowadays it's just best to know what you want to do as far as your business like say for instance i did a trial and error uh, as far as a business and what I did was like I'm into a lot of beauty stuff I'm into I'm kind of like a jack of all trades but I haven't been very very uh producing when it comes to a business um I would say make sure you have a business plan so you can go according to your business plan because if you don't, I'm not. I'm not gonna necessarily say you will fail. I'm not gonna necessarily say you will fail, but your business can fail if you don't have a business plan. So you can go according to your business plan. Um, I say that because you can always refer back to your business plan. Like say for instance, know what you want to do according to your business. I say, for instance, I have a license of doing hair. Um, with that being said, I started off in some of the salons here in St. Louis. And um, I perfected my craft after getting my license. Um, I always said I did want a salon. A salon boutique, that is. You gotta always know what you want. So, that's another thing. You gotta know what you want in your business. You gotta know who you want to involve in your business. And you just gotta make sure whoever you involve in your business is on the same page as you. Because, if they're not on the same page as you, not necessarily saying your business is going to fail, but it has potential of failing. So, I'm not saying to not help your family, but in some cases, it's not good to have your family in your business unless it's a family-owned business, you know, for all your family members to profit. So, carefully pay attention to that. So, number one, know what type of business you want to deal with. Know what your trade is, like what you like to do. And number two, have a business plan. Go buy that business plan. You can always refer back to that business plan. And who knows? You may want to get a loan on a business. If you already perfected having a business. You might want to get a loan to open your own business or whatnot. So that business plan will be your, your best outlet to get that loan you need. 
Mm. This taco shell is on point. It's setting off the whole salad. But, um, yeah. So, once you get your business plan, go into the trade, perfect it, and then, once it's perfected, you can build your own clientele. And, you know, nowadays, social media is a thing, how you can build your clientele fast. So, you know, make sure you have all outlets in your uh, social media to build your clientele. You know what I'm saying? It can go a long way. So, just a, um input on that. My input on it. Some I learned and that I'm going to get more courteous with it because it's very important to know these things. Also, after you perfect it and you go going according to your business plan before you even open your own business, then bridge out into looking into, not actually just jumping into getting your own business, but actually look into getting your own business. Like, see what is the best ways, the best outlets to get in your own business or starting your own business. You know, evaluate other businesses in the area you want your business in. And make sure that's a good, reputable uh, er area you want your business to be at. No saying to worry about your competition. But what I'm saying is find ways to outbeat your competition. Or what I do is I don't worry about competition. I just I would just be yourself. I just be myself and see how my business can perfect itself by having good clients come and continuing having good clients to come. Whether you have competition or not. So, just look into that. Like, how can your business be a little different, but at the same time, not worry about your competition? Mm. And the next thing is budgeting every business gotta have its own profits and of course you gotta have your profits but at the same time you gotta think of it like this the first three years of your own business you're not gonna profit anything there's a possibility you're not gonna profit anything but at least the first three years in your business you got to make sure that you just concentrate on your business, nothing else, because your business is more important, even though you have to have, you need a profit somewhere in this business, but your only concentration for right now is to get your business off the ground. Get that continued clientele. It don't necessarily have to be just in the beauty industry. It can be in any industry. You know. If you start from there. You're going a long way. So number one. Find out your trade. What you like doing. Number two. Well, number one, find out your trade and perfect your trade in what you like doing. Number two, develop um, a business plan in the midst of you doing that trade. Number three, go buy that business plan as you perfecting your trade so you'll know what to do when you bridge out into your own thing.
on the floor. As you perfecting your craft and you going about your business plan, it's good to evaluate other businesses that are similar to you so you can see how you can be different within that industry. See how you can be different. Because not saying that you should be completely different, but in the ways be different because not saying you should be better, but you want to make yourself be known to be better. That's your crowd. You want to represent your craft very well. So, that's my input on it. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be dropping a lot of videos, especially this summer. I'm just starting off slow with this uh, channel, but <clears throat> it's a lot of stuff I'm going to be talking about as far as beauty-wise, business-wise, and... I'm going to be involving my kids a lot. They're going to have their own separate channel. I know my ch my uh little baby, he's going to have he's going to have a kid channel. It's going to call Ryan's Playhouse. So, look into that. And my uh my oldest son, he's going to have a gaming channel, his own gaming channel, which he likes to play a lot of different games, Fortnite being one, Roblox being another. So, Look into that, and then me and my oldest son is going to do a joint channel, so, and we'll keep you updated on that, so, I'm going to make sure I put all the links in the description, so you can pay attention to those upcoming channels, and let me know at the bottom of this uh, video, comment at the bottom to let me know what you like to know about us, and what type of videos are you interested in looking at on our channel i'm gonna go ahead and finish my lunch and i'm gonna get back to y'all okay okay y'all now this is the regimen i use when it comes to my facial mask i use two different kinds but for today i'm going to use the clear proof by avon that's a good one but this one i'm showing you right now is the indian healing clay i know a lot of people are familiar with this product but i'm not going to use that product today i'm going to use this product that's called clear proof by avon i have that um product of course my 100 percent cocoa butter and apple cider vinegar and my makeup brush a lot of you a lot of people use makeup brushes but here you go the product itself I'm going to put that information in the description below also just squeeze a little bit like a quarter size of the product in the uh, on the uh, makeup brush I usually put it on like I would put makeup on I don't wear makeup like that but when I do wear makeup I put a thin layer of makeup on so with that being said I um I'm putting a thin layer of this mask on. I like this mask because the processing time doesn't take so long like the Indian uh, healing clay. But when I had real, real bad acne, I really used an Indian healing clay. But with me, with, with my skin being the way it is now and it's in good condition, I'm using this Clear Proof um, by Avon. It's a, a good minty, like clear clean feeling like mask you put it on all over your skin and it'll make your skin feel like charcoal like kind of hard like the uh, Indian healing clay but it's not thick like it it's very thin you see me looking like a monster right now so I just after putting that product on I just let it dry and then after it's dry, you see what the light is just horrible. I mean, trying to make it way so you guys can see it. Okay, so as you can see, the product is dry now. Um, so with that being said, just like how I wash my face, uh, rinse my face off, I use a, a clean, wa lukewarm wa washcloth and wipe all in between the cracks and crannies of my face to make sure all the product is off like I say different uh, people that uh, go get facials they know that's how they do their facials 
they don't just splash water in their face. They use a, a nice lukewarm or warm washcloth to clean your face off when it comes to facials. So I'm doing it like a facial. Like I said, I do it a couple times to make sure the product is off to its entirety and then I go on to the next step. Of course, I, I clean in my ears to make sure my ears are clean uh, to its entirety. Forgive me with my hair, y'all, but I am uh, making sure this product is off my face to its entirety. Make sure y'all click that uh, thumbs up and make sure y'all subscribe to this channel so y'all get the uh, bigger picture. Hi everybody, it is a nice day out here, I am walking, I am trying to start a new type of um, eating habit, I am trying to lose 15 pounds, I mean it doesn't make sense for me to be 5 feet even and weigh 165, so I am doing some little cardio here just walking it's a nice day out here so i'm gonna be walking and since i'm walking i might as well just talk to y'all i mean that's a little bit of what i'm gonna be doing today so just to give you an update on what i'm gonna be doing in regards to this video i am doing a little walking I'm trying to do at least a mile. I'm gonna do two miles a day. This is my um this is my first walk. I try to walk twice a day, but um I'm doing um uh, basically a mile or two miles if I can. You know, so I'm gonna be doing that for right now. But I'm just pretty much doing that in my neighborhood and I just need to be consistent so I just need y'all ideas as far as what type of diets is good for me to be on while I'm trying to lose this 15 pounds I want to try to lose the 15 pounds uh, before the summer if I stay on the strict consistent diet I hate the word diet because it just don't mix well with me but I think oh shoot I think I wanna uh I wanna uh I heard a lot about the keto diet but pasta is my thing and see I can phase away the bread but pasta I know it's a form of bread but that's gonna be hard for me to get rid of the pasta and it's different types of pastas. Oh, people can't drive in this neighborhood. They like driving real fast on this uh subdivision. In this subdivision, I ain't even for the cross the street. I'm gonna wait until they go by or whatever. Then I'm gonna cross the street. Excuse my French. But um anyway, I'm thinking about the um the keto diet I hear a lot about that but they say no pasta or bread which I, like I said I can get rid of the bread I don't have a problem with that but it's the pasta now I have spoken to a lot of people that is that has lost weight um, pretty fast that was a little overweight according to they um, according to they height and stuff they just told me different things that they can eat such as they uh ate like um what did they say they ate they said something about whole wheat uh spaghetti noodles but i tasted those and i didn't like those at all but they were saying that they still ate pastas but they just limited them eating pasta like they had like two pastas a week and make sure they put a, a, a vegetable and a fruit in every meal uh, basically they gave me an example they basically said that uh, doing um, you know with breakfast being the most important meal of the day they said 
So make sure you do like fruit with your do like fruit with your uh your breakfast every morning. And they said, um, for example, they said I could have a, a piece of a honey wheat toast with some peanut butter and um I can have some oatmeal and I can have a bowl of a bowl of fruit like a fistful of fruits will be good to balance my breakfast out and so that could be like a meal a breakfast meal I can have it's windy but it's so gorgeous out here so that's why I'm taking this time to do a little walking because I want to do this this is gonna be my walk my first walk of the day, like I said, when the, before the sun go down, I'm going to go back to doing another walk. But, back to what I was talking about. So they said that that's a good idea of doing uh, the oatmeal and a, a piece of uh, honey wheat toast with peanut butter and like a fistful of fruit. Or I can do whole grain cereal and um a fist full of full of fruit regardless they were saying that i should do a fist full of fruit regardless uh of whatever i eat pertaining to my uh meal plan or whatever they said regardless eat a fist full of fruit so i'm going to do that regardless and um as far as lunch you i could do like a grilled chicken salad um with vinaigrette just don't do like fatty dressings like ranch and uh blue cheese and stuff like that which i don't really eat those anyway i uh i eat vinaigrette balsamic vinaigrette or that raspberry uh balsamic vinaigrette um for the most part uh hold up my keys fell out my pocket but anyway so that's what i'm planning on doing as far as my lunch back to what i was saying i keep on getting off guard because i'm up here looking at these cars driving past and they going well 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 over the speed limit and i ain't trying to get hit i gotta live but anyway so um they said a grilled chicken salad with with some like dried cranberries and stuff like that and make sure i do a vegetable and a fruit with that and they also said as i uh as i get into these meals before i actually start eating these meals they said it's good to drink a bottle of water with apple cider with two caps full two cap full of um apple cider vinegar a day not a day but before each meal and also whenever i be thirsty it's good to still drink or i could drink a regular bottle of water but every time before i eat do a bottle of water with two caps full of apple cider vinegar so i also got this thing that that is um keeping track of my steps so I'm doing pretty good as long as I'm talking to y'all. But back to what I was saying. So, as far as the lunch, I said the grilled chicken sal salad and a fruit. Or I can do, um, I can do any portion. Basically, my thing is, I just got to watch my portions. I have to watch my, watch my portions when I eat. Whatever I eat. It has to be a certain portion like the size of my fist basically and this was a um this was a trainer that actually told me about this she said it's good to watch your portions uh like make sure all your portions is the size of your fist um everything um uh, whether it's a meat a chicken patty or um or whatever your vegetable your fruit whatever it has to be the portion has to be the size of your fist for you to succeed or losing that type of weight but just an idea and then for my dinner 
uh, I have my protein like grilled chicken. I can do fish. Um, I don't really eat red meat like that, like uh, ground beef. My husband, he's a, a vegan, so I be getting these like to, to supplement my ground beef. I be getting these um, this package of uh, protein. It's called Boca. It's in a red. Uh, it, it's that's an actual brand, but they have a lot of different things named by Boca for vegans. They have like um the uh vegan crumbles that look like ground beef. They have like the all American burgers, um, and stuff like that. They also have um black bean burgers, which I'm not a I'm not really a fan of the black bean burgers, but I can do the regular burgers and also to supplement my meat. Not saying I'm gonna go full vegan because that is something I just can't do. I can do I can do uh, vegetarian before I do vegan. But at the same time, I'm not going to do vegetarian either because I just love chicken. I can't phase away chicken. So basically, bottom line, I I don't have to have the red meat. It used to be hard because I like brats during the summer. Like bratwurst from the grill, barbecue grill, during the summer. And I'll be wanting them, but now I don't care. But they do have beef brats. But like I said, I'm not too into a lot of red meat. If I do red meat, it'll be a burger, a regular burger that I make at home. Like a regular burger I make at home or whatever. And um, something like that. So just, uh, uh, just wanted to give y'all an insight of what I am doing and my plans so you can see how I'm going to succeed in losing this 15 pounds. You're going to see it in my face that um, my pounds are going to be shedding. Like right now my face is like, my face always been round but it's like to the point it seems like you can tell that I'm gaining weight because my face is it seems like it's chunkier and I'm even feeling that I need to lose weight. So that's why I'm taking the initiative to try to lose weight. Um, do two uh, things of cardio a day, like as far as walking. Well, I would do two walks a day and one exercise of cardio, uh, not, not involving the walking, just regular cardio, like different um, um, uh, cardio exercises and also uh, do a lot of different um, weight lifting um, exercises too because I rather build the muscle than to just well I want to lose the weight but I also want to build the muscle because I don't want it want everything to look flabby and then it was no point of me working out because now it looks flabby so just an idea of what's going on you guys again I appreciate y'all watching this uh, video I just wanted to make sure that you guys keep tabs on my uh, upcoming channels I have uh, coming like I said my son he's gonna have his gaming channel uh, coming out soon. I'm going to keep you guys updated on that. And then also my little baby son, he's going to have a Playhouse channel where a lot of the kids, they like to be on YouTube now, watching a lot of different videos and kids doing a lot of different activities. So my little baby is going to be doing a lot of different stuff um, just to let you know what's going on with that. But yeah, so look uh, look out for that too, and um, that channel is called it's gonna be called Ryan's Playhouse. So look into that, and also also uh, I have a family channel. My family channel is gonna involve my kids, myself, and sometimes my husband. My husband he's doing a lot of different other business strategies, so he probably will be in some of them. 
Well, most likely he'll be in some of them. I'm going to make him be in some of them because it's important if he's part of the family. And then, of course, this channel, this is my, my beauty channel. Uh, you'll know a lot of different things on my beauty channel, like how to do different makeups. And also, on this channel, you will see a lot of... Uh, you will see a lot of people's work as far as how they do makeup versus how I do makeup. Because I like to watch other people's stuff and then, you know, um, you know, pitch out a lot of different ideas to people from what I've seen. Like, show you guys where I get the technique from or, or whatever. And I'm going to be recommending you guys to them too. So, um just gonna be a lot of different clips that you will understand how to do a lot of beauty things um this beauty channel is going to involve um hairstyle hairstyling uh hygiene um i'm also gonna do a lot of cooking stuff too but i'm gonna try to do a lot of cooking stuff on my uh family channel with my kids and, and my family but i'm gonna do a lot of um recipes on here too but um no i take that back i'm not gonna do a lot of recipes i'm just gonna do like a lot of health strategies uh on this channel because it's part of beauty so with that being said it's gonna be makeup hairstyling and health tips on on this channel and i just want y'all to uh comment below on what you feel about each video that I upload and also click that reminder bell so you will know when the next videos come out and so you won't miss anything because I'm going to try to upload as much as I can right now um I'm just getting trying to get out good content and then I'm gonna do a lot of uploading from here on uh, out uh, because like I said, I'm going to have other channels, but at the same time, I don't want to just put upload anything. So, with that being said, make sure you click the su subscribe button and uh, comment below on this uh, video. And let me know what you are anticipating on seeing on this channel. And also, click the reminder bell so you'll know when I put out my new videos. And then also... I'm going to have my other uh, channel soon in the uh, subscript, uh, description be below so you will know um, when you can go on there and check it out. Also comment on those videos and also, of course, subscribe and click the reminder bells for those. But like I said, I'm going to keep you updated on those. Um, I'm going to keep you updated on on the uh new channels whenever we get things in the swinging